morning welcome to the official day of Ada's birthday party guys listen this party has been two months in the making so i am just so excited today because i'm like you know what i've done my bit no matter what i intend to enjoy this to the fullest this is also like the first party that we're having since permanently moving to london we didn't have a housewarming party because it just took us forever to actually unpack the house and we thought we're just not set up to host anybody and also as you know when you move to a new city you're just getting to know people so the fact that the boys started school here um, meant that we've also recently started forming our you know like-minded parent tribe <laughs> community slash anyway so i mean now was the perfect time to almost combine ada's first birthday with an official housewarming party with an official everything everything but um things have started setting up i'm in my balcony now for my bedroom and if you look down there um the bouncy castle is already up and there's a special guest if you can hear someone happening in the background so this is david Hi, David. Morning. Hi, good morning. <laughs> How are we doing? We're, we're good. How are we doing? I should well, be asking you. <laughs> making progress, you know, yeah. last, last bits and pieces, last touches. Yeah. Um, no, we'll be fine. We'll be ready. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so this is where the buffet is going to be set up. I think when I go down, I will show you properly. But um, we're pretty much covering the garage door because this is the garage there. Anyway, good job, babe. Thank you. This is where the garden party will be happening um it's gonna look a bit different when everything's set up but of course i will show you that so come with me so it took me long enough but i finally set up our entrance way i mean motivation hashtag ada's first birthday party but i'll give you a little tour about this this is a painting that david bought in kenya and I framed it with gold because gold is just a vibe. Fresh peonies. And these are artwork that I would have picked in a interior decor shop. These are also souvenirs from either Kenya or South Africa. This is a vintage clock that I actually, it was a steal for me because I'd gone to a shop in Dublin and it was the only one there so and I got this I think two years before I've actually made use of it but I said to David one day we will find use for this bad boy here and we did and the diffusers I got from Zara more artwork from South Africa and this is actually this is actually a vintage record player yeah, so, yeah, these are all the decor. Actually, now that I've opened that, I'm wondering whether to leave that open. Yes, that's a vibe. I like the, the solid red color there, so I'm actually gonna leave that open. But anyway, speaking about party things, this is the first. So, this is the entrance to the house, and we probably don't want a lot of people coming through here not because no reason other than it's a garden party and it's easier to access the garden from the side of the house so this is what we're going to put in front of the house this way to the party so that people know to go through the garden so i'm now going to take you to the back to show you the berlin setup but i wanted to talk about the weather right you know how they say the british weather changes and you can have like four seasons in one day prior to today right every time we looked at the weather forecast for today it always said that it was going to rain 30 percent of rain and i was just like you know what i'm not gonna fight it because the date is already set you can't just like move the date and be like you know what guys it's raining today come tomorrow that's not how it works so i think very early on i prepared my mind that if it's gonna rain so be it because the guest list is intentionally everybody, our nearest and dearest, the people that we really love. 
So I'm not going to sit here thinking, oh my God, if it rains, my party will be a flop. No, the people will come in here. There's such a vibe that if it rains, we stand under the umbrella and we continue the party. So um, I'd already conditioned my mind for that. But since yesterday and even this morning, we've looked at the weather forecast and there is no rain. So that's really exciting. Um, yes, let me let me take you to the balloons. If you wonder why it's so quiet, like where are the kids? Bear in mind that Davi's sister is around, so she's on major auntie duties at the moment, which is working for us. Very grateful for Leia. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the balloons. So this is the balloons. And because of timing, I mean, the balloon lady only had time yesterday to put it, even though for me, I would have preferred that it was done this morning. Um, and it's already calmed down a bit, but David's like, worry not, I'm gonna save the day. So David's gonna push that up with a ladder, right? So. Like I said to you, this is where the buffet is going to be set up. We're waiting for the decor lady who's coming at nine. But yeah, let me take you closer. Bouncy Castle is always a win for birthday parties. You know, kids just go crazy. So this is a princess bouncy castle. I'm loving the diversity here for sure. Yeah. That's it for now, and I will let you know when everything's set up. So this is gonna be this is gonna be Ada's second outfit. I'll leave the first outfit as a surprise. So, so. wow. <laughs> Ada is sehr aufgeregt and sehr yeah. Vorfreudig über ihre Party. Ja. Yeah. So, yeah. sehr gut. So, it's Leia behind the camera, guys. You can just turn it around and say hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, patience, sweetheart. Wait. There you go. Do you want the whole pack? Well, okay. You can have the whole pack. Oh my gosh, guys, listen. Yes. When I dreamt of motherhood for a girl, this is what it looked like. Yes. Uh, sorry, just trying to contain my emotions. Uh, Ada, how many biscuits do you want? But anyway, we're at this stage where you also just need bribe to get them to get their hair done. Mom of girls, you can testify to this. Oh, we're losing, we're losing it, we're losing, oh, sorry. <clears throat> well done, chicken, you're doing great. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Do you want more biscuit? Ada, where are you going? I bribed you with dog. <laughs> anyway, guys, so we're just gonna get Ada's hair done. That's our outfit in the back, first outfit, and then second outfit. Hello. Excited, Ada. Say hello to your aunties and uncle, to your internet aunties and uncle. Hello. And well, what do you think of your makeup? Beautiful, I like it. Yeah. Thank you. So Shaz has arrived. Say hello Shaz. She just arrived to set up um, for some videography and photography, which obviously you guys would watch when you're not behind the camera of the actual setup. You see the amazing content that she's gonna create. <laughs> yeah.
So this is the aftermath of the party. All hands on deck, cleaning up. Barely surviving. Barely surviving. Good. More. Quite impressed that the balloons have remained up. Yes, because the party's finished. Well done, sweetheart. Well done. Oh, and Kian is making us lunch. Mm. Right, Kiki? Yeah. But then, but, but then, but then, we are clean up. I think it's fair to say that yesterday was a big success, and all credit, of course, goes go out to Adana. Oh, yeah, babe, I that didn't that expect team. that. Oh, no, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yeah, no, she made it all, all happening. I had about a 1% involvement in it today. <laughs> oh, it, was, it was epic. We get a lot of text and voice messages this morning of everybody saying how epic last night was. So, yeah, I think it was a big success. Really happy with it. Yeah, me too. This is what's left of the table decor. And the backdrop here first of all this is ada's cake stand these are fresh flowers and that is the backdrop ada is one this is actually the i had this her logo made so we had that stuck in the plates and the cups hi guys so this is me what is left of me from almost two months of party planning and almost a full day of standing talking to people trying to make sure that all of my guests are entertained i'm very very grateful for everybody who came the goal was to actually vlog the party pretty much the bts before the videographer um gives us the wake up wake up i can't even think properly and it's not because i'm hungover because I didn't even drink Mama, that much. When are you finished talking? <laughs> when am I finished talking? Yeah. Why are you come here? Why are you asking me when I finish talking? Because I wanna I wanna blow it. Oh blow. the children of these days are so rude. They're not rude really. I mean I don't find it rude. I'm just joking. Yes, sweetheart, you can put your blow up. Anyway, this was so much fun. If you can see the back there, the DJ was playing in. That's the balcony of our bedroom. That's where the DJ was playing. Anyway, this morning, although we were very, very tired and wrecked, we've already taken the kids to the um, theater classes this morning. Him no make you happy. No. Him no make you feel like I do. They both turn in my way. Yeah. I can feel you warming up to me. Oh. Think I got a shot like a free throw. Red up in the game with no Chico. Girl, you took my heart like a repo. I literally cannot believe that Ada's party has come and gone. It took me well over a month to plan this party, guys. But I am actually very delighted that it all went well. I felt like it went too fast, in my opinion. But I feel like that's what every host experiences anyway. Because I was just going to everyone making sure that I got in like a little FaceTime with everyone, little chat, making sure that everything is in order, they have drinks, they have food, they have having fun. So, you know, I, I'm not surprised that it went really quickly, but I'm delighted. Um, it was just good vibes, literally. Everybody saying this was such an awesome party and I, I like to hear that. <laughs> I'm very grateful. I know that whenever I take my time to do something, it almost always turns out well, except of course the things that are beyond my control. And then, I mean, 
they're beyond my control. But generally, it always turns out well. My parties anyway. <laughs> I was saying, um, a lot of you might have caught a snippet on my Instagram. If you have, drop a comment below because um, I pretty much showed snippets of what we got up to. And I thought that I would do with this, you know, this video. But unfortunately that wasn't the case because I kept running around and completely forgot that I had started the vlog in the morning and definitely didn't show anything. I didn't pick up the camera, not even once, but I'm not mad. The reason why I'm not mad and you shouldn't be too is because there's obviously gonna be like a full vlog all about just the party, right? So almost take this video as the behind the scenes of what you're not gonna see in the other vlog that's yet to come up. But yeah, what's the order of today? First of all, I'm looking this way because I've actually just finished a live video with Ate, um, a new friend of mine on Instagram. So I did that. That's why I bothered to wear makeup today. My agenda today is to finally open Ada's presents because we didn't get the time to do it. The next day I was wrecked. Next day was Sunday. We still had to take the kids to drama class and I was just wrecked. And now Ada is sleeping. Um, should be waking up in a bit after her lunch we will open the presents together and you can get first reactions you know you see first reactions to her presents um yeah i'm curious to actually see what's in there so hang in there um yeah i'm gonna start opening the presents as soon as i can get ada i also didn't show this on my instagram right i had this done on etsy this massage corner was amazing we got a masseuse that gave the parents massages and it was just awesome so here are all the presents even down here and i will just bring all of this to the living room now look is here with me we're gonna do first impressions of all of her toys well presents we don't know if they're toys <laughs> mama what do you think yeah yeah you like it do you like that one is that the one you want to go first with Okay, let's open that. Do you want us to open this? Oh, this one. Okay, let's open this one. Wow. Let's see, what is this? The princess mouse and the pea. Wow, Ada. Well, you're on the card. Oh wow, this is... Right, Mama, this is the most gorgeous card ever. Oh look, it's a unicorn. No, 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 we're not gonna eat the unicorn. We are not doing that. We are not doing that. We are not gonna eat the unicorn. Excuse me. <coughs> no, those are my books. These are my medical textbooks. Do you want to be a doctor, Ada? <coughs> you don't know? So this is what's inside this one. I love the little dollhouse. That is so cute. This is the princess mouse and the pea. I think a lot of these presents actually can serve as inspiration. If you have a one year birthday coming up, these will be great gift ideas. So let's see, let's get going. Oh wow, Aja, that's so lovely. Oh wow, Ada. It's ABC letters and numbers block. This lovely piece here is from one of the neighbors. Amazing. She's looking at her trying to put her leg in my, sh in my slippers. 
<laughs> Excuse me, madam. Look, there's another one. <gasps> Look, Ada. When you're watching this on YouTube, it's gonna feel like we did this in three minutes, but it's literally taking me an hour to open all these presents with Ada. Um, <laughs> and she's rubbing her eyes. The girl's like, I'm not ready for this live. So, to me alone again, I'm opening the rest of the presents and listen, right? I just want to interrupt this to give honor where honor is due. Like, overall we've gotten the loveliest presents the most thoughtful intentional presents from our friends but by far i have to give a shout out to my friend violet and um, most of you might know her on tiktok or instagram i don't think she's on, she's not on youtube anyway um so violet is a demora who guys look at the level of thoughtfulness Look at the level of thoughtfulness. Actually, let me turn the camera around. Guys, look at the level of thoughtfulness. She's made a card with Ada's photo in the front. Personalized note inside. But not only that, look at the present that they've gotten Ada. She's got her a balance bike. Excuse me me while i open this up excuse me what okay guys legit i have to give a special shout out to violet her husband ben hero their son by extension she really has been so so thoughtful throughout throughout everything i mean just in life in our friendship okay let me tell you this right the second outfit that ada wore for her birthday was V, right? I was here, we would have had a conversation about me looking for outfits for Ada and, you know, just the way that friends catch up. The next thing I know, there's a delivery with everything, literally from the headband to the dress, to the socks, to the shoe, everything. She purchased it and sent it to me. And I thought that's enough, right? Because then we had another conversation and she goes, oh what do you want for Ada's birthday and I said V are you crazy you just sent me an entire outfit that she's wearing you know that was not cheap so I don't want anything don't buy me any presents but if you really want to buy me something buy me plantain and watermelon and feta cheese and it sounds very crazy but the idea of eating watermelon and feta cheese I got it from her house I would have visited her and she's like girl have you ever tried watermelon and feta cheese that was really good and then plantain but right? i'm like i want plantain and it's not easily accessible to me where i live so if you can get me like on fried plantain in a bag <laughs> i would love it she shows up on the birthday with literally guys half a sack full of plantain which i'm so grateful for because if you ask me one food I can eat every day until I die, it's plantain. So I'm not even mad. I was so excited. She got me watermelon and feta cheese. And I thought between that and the dress or the outfit for Ada, that's enough birthday present. So I didn't even realize that they've, that they've hidden this thing in the corner because this was the biggest present. And I was like, who got this? And what is inside here? Look, I am so grateful to you, V. And if you guys know V, please go over to her Instagram, tell her that I love her so much. I tell her that anyway in person. So give her a shout out, okay? Because this is what friends do. <laughs> and of course, I'm not expecting this from every friend, but when you have that one friend that really is so thoughtful, calls you to check up on you, finds out how everything's doing, in what way they can help. And this baby's pregnant. She's having a baby in August, early August. So she's doing all of this whilst heavily pregnant. I am so, so grateful. And the reason I'm so happy um, to have her in my corner is because I am that friend. In every friendship that I've had, I will be that person going out and, you know, over and beyond for people and unfortunately 
I don't get that back actually that's not the unfortunate part I don't get it, get it back from a lot of people but I don't want it because for me I prefer to give than to receive but what's unfortunate is that I've had people actually take advantage of that side of me like my good nature my willingness to sacrifice and put people that I love first I have had people take advantage of me so the fact that finally I have this friend of mine who is one of the few people who would really give her heart to me if I needed it um I'm so grateful so special shout out to you V I love you boo um I'm gonna finish opening up the presents and then I will pretty much show you everything that we got and yes this will be the wrap up of the vlog then so generally these are all of the amazing presents that we got i cannot wait until ada can use these actually she can start using it right away which means i don't have to buy presents we got so many lovely books you know bedtime story the hungry caterpillar alphabets you know and then some really lovely clothes as well I'm not gonna show you everything but maybe I'll just show you one look how cute how cute you got this from Gato so nice I've got this from my friend Celia and her kids they got us quite a bit in there so overall i am delighted so overall i'm super super grateful and excited for the toys that ada got and as you could see a lot of it were wooden toys and then books and then clothes and it happened this way because specifically when people asked me what should we get ada i was like you know if you could get her a wooden toy or if you could get her like some sustainable clothing or some educational or diverse books i was quite specific in my head of what i wanted just because i know prior to moving here i know how much i decluttered because we pretty much accepted any and everything from friends um and it's pretty it's just easy to go into a shop and just buy some random plastic thing or something that doesn't make any meaning and i don't want that in my house after decluttering i like any educational book or diverse books that's gonna you know teach my child something i wanted wooden toys as well only just because of the sustainability aspect and the fact that it would last a but longer and we can pass it down as well to friends, kids or family, you know, whatever. Not passing it down to another kid because Ada is going to be the last. <laughs> Even the funny thing, I had a weird dream about, about having another baby. It was so crazy and so unreal because it's literally never happening. Like the thought of even having another, like if I did have a fourth child, I genuinely wanted to be a boy. Like, I don't want another girl because of how, like the plans I have with myself and Ada in my head, it involves one mother and one daughter, literally. So nobody can come and just mess up those plans. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much guys for watching and keep your eyes peeled because I'm hoping, fingers crossed anyway, depending on when the videographer um has the material ready i'm hoping that next week's vlog is really going to be all things birthday party and i am thinking of starting my blog again i did have a blog in the past that was just so exhausting to keep up with i still don't know how i'm going to keep up with but I, I do have a bit of a strategy that's gonna result in less um burnout and more consistency anyway 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 the reason i say this is because in my blog i plan to actually write how to plan the perfect first birthday party listen right listen after this party you can throw on event planner as one of the of my titles honestly because it's very eye-opening and i just know the elements that kind of need to come together to have that perfect party feel and also 
to engage the adults as well, not just the kids, which is what I noticed from a lot of the birthday parties. Parents are either standing around or standing around the bouncy castle watching the kids, and I'm like, hmm, where's the fun for the, for the parents? So, and that's kind of like the mindset I went into this party, hence why all the adults and the kids, everybody had a great time. So, throwing event planner to one of my titles, but regardless, um, I will write a summary of how I went about planning um, this party so that I can help anybody out there who is looking to plan a one year birthday party or any party for that matter. But anyway, take care and I will chat to you soon. Bye. Of you stuck in my mind.